In an interview I did with Rob Mather, the founder of Against the Malaria Foundation, an incredible organization, one of the world's top rated charities, he had this concept of 20 minute thinking to get extraordinary results. And I'm gonna share it with you today in this video. Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Justin Gordon, the Director of Marketing and Community at Vitalize. I also host a podcast called Just Go Grind, interviewing founders and venture capitalists as well as operators to help others launch and grow successful businesses. And this idea of 20 minute thinking that came about from Rob Mather kind of blew my mind. 20 minute thinking is such a simple concept, but it's a rewiring of how we typically think of getting results. So he wanted to get a million people to swim to raise money for fighting malaria. And how he did it, instead of going to, for instance, the local gym where they had a pool and maybe getting 50 people to sign up there, or going to a swim team in a local kind of town and getting 100 people to sign up at a time, that would never get the outsized results, the massive returns that he wanted. He wanted to make an impact with malaria, with fighting malaria, by getting a million people to swim around the world. So what he used and said was this concept of 20 minute thinking, which is how can I use a short period of time, so only 20 minutes, that will get the most benefit, like the max impact, the max result from a short kind of input. So small, short input, massive output. And what he did was he ended up like making a list of people that had, could get potentially 5,000 people each. And he said I'd have one minute conversations with each of those people. And that was how he framed it. Now it wasn't exactly a minute conversation. It wasn't like it was literally a minute and he stopped like, hung up the phone was like, okay, yeah, we're done. We can only do a minute per call. But you get the idea. One minute conversations with 20 people to get 5,000 each, which would give him 100,000 people. Then it was a big amount to kind of launch the campaign and then get more people swimming around the world to raise money for malaria, to fight malaria. And I found the idea when I heard the story on the Jessica Grind podcast, like I found it fascinating to think of, oh, 20 minute thinking, it's so simple. And I just have these small inputs that leave these massive outputs. And that example of these 20 people you could call to get these 5,000 each, it's like, how could you apply that in other ways? So how could you, with a small amount of time or a small amount of input, get the max benefit. And something I think about with that is always it comes down to really reaching out to people. So obviously Rob reached out to 20 people that had some influence that were impactful. And he did work before the phone calls to prepare for that, understanding like researching who the best people would be, what the strategy would be in the calls to make sure like he gave a good chance, like a good pitch around what he was trying to do. But then that would convince them to get those 5,000 people to then help swim and then obviously raise money to fight this. And I think about outreach for podcast guests, for business, for impact, it's like, who are those connectors that could be almost dominoes for the thing you're trying to do? And so it all comes back to outreach. Now, whether that be through emailing people, whether that be a, you know, a cold email versus a warm email to a referral to someone else, whether it be a Twitter DM, like with Twitter now, you can reach pretty much anyone. Like as long as they have their, their DMs open, you can reach a lot of different people through Twitter DMs. And these different platforms across the entire internet that connect us are these opportunities to use this 20 minute thinking and this leverage this 20 minute thinking to figure out how you can reach someone or get in touch with someone. And I think it's just fascinating when you think of things from that lens of 20 minute thinking. So if your business, for instance, what if you had to 10X your business? It's the same concept. I think that was something that Peter Thiel had mentioned, something around like, how can you accomplish like your 10 year goals in the next six months? And I think, the way you would do that is through utilizing something like 20 minute thinking is it rewires how you think about the process from maybe a linear improvement to really kind of taking massive leaps. And I think that's useful for us when you get in a rut of like, we're improving a little bit, which is okay and we're doing all right. But to really go after it, to really do bigger things, 20 minute thinking is needed. And it's not good in every situation. I know there's gonna be haters saying like, oh, but I can't use 20 minute thinking for this. Like, how do I use 20 minute thinking to like build the entire company? Like, I don't necessarily think that works. But when you take some time to reflect, to pause, to think about how you can leverage those inputs to have the massive outputs you're gonna realize a lot of different things. Oftentimes that leverage can come about through people. So if you found like a 10X engineer or a 10X person in your team that can do things way better, like that may actually lead to better results than anything else you could have done. Combine that with something like automation, with using software, ways to leverage like these small inputs, these smaller things that can reach tons of people and can, can get tons of benefit. That type of thinking is useful. And I don't think we do it enough. I at least find in my own life, I tend to be more of a gradual approach, increase and kind of improve over time, which I don't think is bad. But then I also think like, should I be thinking bigger and leveraging 20 minute thinking? It's so like, should I be 
using my connections and networks I built up, for instance. So I try to get like Elon on the show, or like Oprah on the show, or whatever. Someone like massive on the show. Like, have I even reached out? I don't think I even have. So even as I'm like filming this and like thinking about this 20 minute thinking, I'm like, what should I do in my own life? And so for you, think about that same type of thing. How can you leverage 20 minute thinking, small amount of time, small amount of input for a massive output? Spend the time on that, give yourself the, the space to be able to do that and see the benefits, the results. And heck, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. You can subscribe down below, check out the next videos up here. I appreciate it so much. Take care.